Innovation is, is absolutely essential to the development of the microfinance industry because its origins have always been in credit. There was always this notion of poor women, poor men who don't necessarily have collateral, who cannot get access to loans, can benefit enormously by that. But as the industry has evolved, we've seen that real empowerment, real change at the fundamental economic level, and particularly for women, um, even beyond just uh, just the, the, the empowerment that we see for men and women comes from more of a combination of products and services. They need savings. They need a safe place to save their money. They need insurance to, um, to insulate them from the shocks that, that, that poverty can really level on a, on a household. Uh, and they must have financial education to explain what all these diverse products really mean and what the implications. What, what is compound interest and how can it be good for you and how can it really work against you. And so in order for microfinance institutions to really meet that greater challenge of, of financial inclusion, a, a much broader range of products to a much broader range of people, innovation is absolutely essential. There, the UN estimates that there are 2.7 billion people in the world today who have no access to financial services. And if we're going to reach them, we're going to have to call on the traditional financial sector, the mobile banking sector, the mobile telephone sector, the retailers. It's going to require a partnerships that have been really hitherto not really called on, and only an innovative leader is going to be able to take advantage of those kinds of opportunities. One of the things that has been so notable to me in the period of time that we've worked w together with Wharton is I don't think I've ever been with leaders or involved in a training program where the word transformational comes up. It's almost routine in when we talk to the leaders about what they found useful, why they would continue to send their staff now to the next generation of the, of the programs. And they really talk about transformational change on a personal level that then allows them to go back into their institution and, and create transformational change for those institutions as well. We see in, uh, in with the Wharton program this wonderful combination of very, very useful tools that individuals can take back to their organizations and, re and really use to continue that change. But then they are also very grounded in the theory and the, the bigger picture and the bigger set of ideas behind leadership development.